All right, so next thing we're gonna cover is my float and wing balance. So that's on page 25 in my FD1 book. That's page 19 in my FD75 book. So you gotta properly set your header before you start this process. One thing you wanna do is make sure that this frame here is level. So you may need to put a level on here or get your combine parked on a level surface. So you want that level. I want my tilt indicator in between B and C like I have mine set. I want my, uh, make sure that my wings are locked. And you also wanna make sure that when you're looking at your reel position, when you're looking between this arm right here, I wanna see number five or number six on my decal right here from the combine seat. So make sure that's at rut number five or six and then the reel's all the way down. So once you have that all done, then you can take your torque wrench from your storage position on the back of the header here. And this is for all 2012 and newer machines. First thing I do is I look to make sure that my wrench is zeroed out. As you can see, this one is not dead center in the center here. So all I have to do is take and kind of deflect this rod past center. I want to get this rod so it's dead center in between my numbers there. So I take my wrench, I put it on my lower float weld mitt down here for checking this. So I'm gonna slowly push down on this, and this is a 40 foot head. So like it shows in my book on the next page, I have a 40 foot head. I'm gonna be checking it, cutting on the ground, and for a 40 footer it should be two to two and a half. So I'm gonna push down on this, and I should see two to two and a half. And as you can see, this head is way too heavy. I'm almost pushing four. So to make this adjustment, one thing that helps out is I've already had this hardware loose in here. I'm gonna remove this cover for my wing balance. I'm gonna take that off. Put this bolt back in here. So basically what I do is I take a wrench on an FD1. I gotta loosen up these these lock plates here. This one, the bolt's a little bit wedged on it, so I gotta get it. Probably gonna have to almost disassemble it. So since my float is way too heavy, I need to tighten the bolts for my springs. So I'm gonna turn these, so we're almost four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these, since I'm so far out on my float, normally you're not gonna adjust these things as many turns as I am because this, if your header's set close to correct, don't go and turn it three, four turns like I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go four turns on each one. So I tried to tighten my bolts up and it got really extremely tight as I tighten my bolts. So on FD1s, what happens is, as dirt gets down in here, there's a nut very down in the bottom of this casting. All that dirt got down inside here and it's jamming up against my threads of my bolt and the nut that's in the bottom of this casting. So what I do is I back this off 14 turns now counted my turns, and what I'm gonna do, have to do is clean these threads out so I go to retighten this up that I can actually tighten my bolt. So you adjust your float so you get that float to read by pushing this wrench down all the way so that you're at two to two and a half for that, third, or that 40 and 45 foot head. So once you get the float set on this side, then you go over to the left hand side, and you adjust the float the exact same way over there, get that reading to that two to two and a half for a 40, or a 45 footer, it's one and a half to two for a 35 to, or a 30 to 35 foot head. So once the float's set, then you can do your wing balance. So how do you do the wing balance? Make sure before you finish up here, that you take and you put your lock plates back on and you go ahead and you tighten up your bolts for your lock plates so these don't vibrate off. If you have a FD75 or 2162, you're actually gonna have 
uh, jam nuts on the top of these castings so it's secure that bolt from backing out. If you forget to do that, that bolt's going to work itself backwards as you're running in the field. So the next thing we're going to check is my wing balance. So to do that, I need to unlock my wing. I put my torque wrench on my casting here. When you're looking at this, make sure that this white indicator is basically on the same parallel as the slot in this adjustment here for my wing balance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this up until this flat piece here is flush with that. Look at my reading on my gauge and I'm gonna pull it down until this is flush down here on the bottom. And then the, I'm looking at the differences them and basically you don't want no more than a half a number harder going up than coming down. So I'm going up and I got almost four going up it looks like. And then I come down and I got two and a half going down. So I got almost four going up, probably three and a half to four going up, and I got two and a half going down. So to make that adjustment, take my three quarter inch wrench. So I need to move this outboard. It's gonna make my, my wing lighter. So I'm gonna tighten this bolt because this bolt is stationary and I'm gonna move this clevis outboard. Just like that. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna push it up. So I'm still about three and a half. And I'm coming down and I'm getting closer to three. So I'm getting closer. So I'm gonna continue to adjust this out a little bit more and go back up again so I'm about three going up and I'm just under three going down so I'm about a half a number different so you wanted a half a number harder going up than going down and that goes for FD1s, FD75s and 2162s or an FD70 as well as long as they have the torque wrench to check that value so after you adjust the wing balance on this side, make sure that you lock down on these FD1s. You got a jam nut here at the top of my clevis. And then I have a nut down here that actually locks my bolt to my clevis as well. So make sure that you loosen both of these before you attempt to make the adjustment. After you made your adjustment, you're gonna tighten them both up. And then you can go over to the other right hand side, left hand side, and you can do the wing balance adjustment on the left hand side, just like you did here on the right hand side.